Hi guys and welcome back to the family fudge. I just ran to Costco and to Walmart so I thought I would show you everything that I picked up. So stay tuned. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Okay guys, so now that the holidays are over, we're done with birthdays, we're done with traveling for a while, and we're back to school, I had a lot of things that I wanted to pick up. And because we've been traveling, I wanted to make sure to get a lot of healthier foods this time. So you'll notice a lot of vegetables, a lot of protein this time, and just a few carbs, mostly for the kids. So I'll go ahead and show you what I got from Costco first, and then I'll move my way over to the things from Walmart. Starting with the non-food items first, I picked up some LED fake candles. These are in the sort of clearance section left over from Christmas, and the box is a little bit damaged, but they were marked down, so I'm okay with that. This came with five candles that actually have a remote control and a timer as well. And these were marked down to $29, which is a little bit pricey still, but it comes with all of the batteries. So there's 20 batteries included, so I thought that was probably a good deal. And I don't know if you can tell, but the little flame right there actually moves back and forth to make it look like a real flame. So I'm excited for those. We also picked up some baby wipes. Thankfully, these were like $5 off, so it wasn't too bad. We actually ran out of baby wipes when we were in Disney, so we had to buy some when we were there, and they were not cheap. Back here, I picked up some pancake mix for the kids, and this is the protein-packed variety, so it's a little bit, um, it fills them up a little bit more in the morning. This also makes great um, waffles as well. I got some almond milk, lots of eggs this time. We have five dozen organic eggs. We'll probably go through these pretty quickly, however. We got some Kerrygold butter, a rotisserie chicken for tonight's dinner, and some salami. I also picked up two packages of the pineapple sausages. My kids love these, and I like to stick one in the freezer. Same with the breakfast sausage. Now, these aren't my favorite, but everyone else in the family seems to like them, so we got four packages here. That's four pounds, no, five pounds and definitely these will go in the freezer as well. Now usually I pick up ground turkey at Costco, but they didn't have any today, it was kind of crazy. So instead I picked up some grass-fed ground beef burgers. So this is nine burgers total and they're already formed and everything, so it'll make it really quick and easy. In the dairy section today I picked up some sliced Havarti cheese, some slices of cheddar cheese, and some string cheese. Now for the fruit this time, I only picked up bananas. We still have a lot of apples and oranges and frozen fruit, so I just went with bananas today. I also got a big thing of green beans, some riced cauliflower, and some sweet bell peppers. I have a yummy recipe that I'm hoping to make with these. I also got some pesto, we love this. And this is good on um, zucchini noodles, if you've ever made zucchini noodles, it's really good. We also got some sugar snap peas, the kids like those, and a big bag of broccoli. Now way back over here, I picked up a package of these sparkling flavored waters. I'm trying to drink less soda, so I think this might be a good alternative. We shall see. And I also got a big box of the fig bars. The kids love these, especially Griffin. He eats these all the time and they're really convenient to throw into lunches. From Costco, I also got a triple pack of cucumbers and a bunch of olives. Oh yes, and the most expensive part of our trip were the new rugs. I ended up getting this blue one with a sort of lattice design on there. So we got a big one for the living room. This is seven by 10. And then we got a smaller one for the hallway, which is a two by six. And these are actually marked down right now. So hopefully they'll last a while. Now quickly I'll show you what I got from Walmart, starting with this really cute silicone baking tray. This is to make heart-shaped muffins and cupcakes. This is going to be so fun for Valentine's Day. I also got some replacement straw for my Pioneer Woman cups. I got three things of turkey bacon. I have two of the Oscar Mayer, which I really like. And then I wanted to try this uncured Walmart brand. We'll see which one we like better. We ended up getting two packages of these trays. This comes with trays and bowls and cups and forks and spoons. It's actually a really good deal. I use these a lot for my lunch videos and you guys ask me all the time where I get them. 
And surprisingly, Walmart had them today. They've been out of stock for quite a while. And it's $5 for this one package with 24. So I picked up two of those. And I also stocked up on PE clothes for my two oldest kids. Now that we're back in school, they do attend a PE class and a gymnastics class. So for Mackenzie, I just got three little active shirts and three capris. We have some flowers, butterflies, and plain black ones. And for Jackson, I got two tops and two pairs of mesh shorts. Now lastly, we have the miscellaneous category. I have a few makeup items for myself, some hair care products, and a little makeup brush. First off, I have this Air Spun Loose Face Powder. I've read a lot of good things about this and it's actually really cheap, so I'm excited to give that a try. And I've also read some really good things about this Wet n Wild Face Primer. Um, I've been using the one from IT Cosmetics and it finally ran out, so I'm excited to give this a try because it's a lot cheaper. I also got some gel for the boy's hair and a new hairspray for myself because they were all out of what I normally use. And I've never tried this one, but it smells really good. So I'm hoping that it's good. And lastly, I got a new makeup brush for this powder. Okay guys, that is everything in the haul today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.